Hi folks, welcome back to Learn From Dad. I'm James. We're here today in the garage to talk about washers. And no, I'm not talking about the kind that cleans your clothes. I'm talking about the kind that we would use with nuts and bolts and the types and why we would use them in different scenarios. So let's take a look. Okay, so washers come in all different shapes, sizes, dimensions, materials, styles to do all kinds of different things. And here in my garage, we're very technical. We have them separated by large washers and small washers. Because at the end of the day, you can see the wide variety that's laying in here. And depending on what I'm doing, I just dig around till I find the right one. However, at the end of the day, when you're looking at washers, they are gonna be sized for a bolt as far as the diameter of the washer itself. So I'll rummage around until I find one that's gonna fit properly and serve my purpose as far as the size of the bolt. Now, when it comes to what they do, let's separate a few out and take a look at the couple simple purposes of different washer styles. And that way you know what the difference is when you go digging for one. So when we look at washers, they really serve two purposes and I've kind of divided them into halves here. Uh, and I pulled out some random ones so we can talk about them. First, the ones on the right, the first purpose of washers is to spread out the load. So if you have a bolt, for example, like this one that is threaded through a piece of metal and I'm tightening that nut down, which puts this bolt into a tension and compression situation, there's not a lot of surface bearing area here against whatever the parent material is. So oftentimes I'll have a washer that's placed in there to help to spread that load out. Now it might be that big, it might be that big, it might be this thick or that thick. Some designer is going to determine what's necessary for that particular situation. But at the end of the day, what the things on this side are trying to do is spread the load out, number one. Now, a lot of manufacturers have gone away from using a bolt and a washer and a nut, and instead they'll go to a flanged head bolt like this. And key reason behind this, you're getting the same purpose of spreading that load out with less pieces of hardware, it makes it easier to assemble. So often you'll see a flange head bolt in lieu of a bolt and a washer, depending on what kind of piece of equipment you're working with. Now, the other types of washers over here, yes, they fundamentally spread the load out, but their purpose is to help secure the joint of the nut and the bolt that you're fastening. So you have a few different styles here, and I don't have them all, but in general, when you look at them, spread the load out on the right and secure the joint over on the left. So this is what's referred to as a split washer or a split lock washer, where it's got this uh, kind of twisted appearance to it. So as you take this and squeeze this down between a piece of parent material and the nut, as the bolt tightens up that joint, it causes a compression in that joint, which prevents it from loosening up. So that's a one style of lock washer. You may get these ones that look like a star that have spikes on the inside or outside or both. And if you ever feel these, what they do is they, they grip the material and as you tighten down, it helps to lock that joint into place. It also helps prevent the washer from falling off with those inner spikes, but it helps to secure the joint. And then there's this style that you might see that might be a little hard to see on camera. Oftentimes there are some lines or striations on the top but you see that this washer is not perfectly flat. It's actually got a concave to it. This is referred to as a Belleville washer. So if you think about as I take this, and I got too big of a bolt, as I take my bolt and I stick this through and I tighten this bolt down against a piece of parent material, I'm going to squeeze and compress that concave surface and it's going to cause tension between it. So the next time you go change or remove the blades on your lawnmower, I bet you're gonna find one of these because that's how you keep that tension typically in that joint is the bolt goes through, it compresses the Belleville washer up onto your lawnmower blade. Now, a lot of times when you take apart a bolted joint, you're not going to see a washer and you're not going to see um, 
any type of locking washer or other locking mechanism. Instead, you're gonna see there's some kind of stuff that's on the shank of the bolt. So a lot of times manufacturers or people like me will use a some kind of a thread locker. This happens to be Loctite brand, but a chemical adhesive to help secure a joint instead of using something like a lock washer. Now you might also have a lock nut on the other side as another means, but a couple different ways, if you ever take a bolted joint apart and you say, well, gosh, there is no lock washer of any kind, there's other means such as the nut itself or some kind of chemical adhesive. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Thanks for checking in and learning everything you needed to know about washers to get you through life. My best friend here wanted to be on the closing, so thanks for checking in. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.